Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rasan, and actually, today, once you do another top five video, and I'm actually gonna do a top five favorite Royal Rumble matches of all time. These are the top five greatest Royal Rumble matches, in my personal opinion, since Royal Rumble is this Saturday. This 2023 Royal Rumble, you know, it's a lot of great expectations for it. Hopefully, it'll be a great show. But these are the top five Royal Rumble matches of all time, in my personal opinion. Starting on number five spot, I had to go with this one. This was the crowning moment for Batista and John Cena, basically. This is the Royal Rumble 2005. Now, this was actually won by Batista. It's had the controversy to it because they actually eliminated both themselves at the same time, which was a, it actually wasn't supposed to happen at all, but that actually happened. They had to restart the match with Batista actually throwing out John Cena. But this is them showing you who's going to be the two guys for the future, for the next five to ten years, who's going to be the top guys in the company, which is Batista and John Cena. And this was a great overall match. There was some great spots inside this match. The spot with uh, actually Paul Lundin being eliminated by Snitsky. That was great. This actually set up the Shawn Michaels and Kurt Angle match at WrestleMania. But yeah, this is definitely a great one. This is one that really built up two new stars inside this match. It really did that. And that's what the Royal Rumble should be. Building up new people. Building up new stars. And just creating them. Catapulting them to, to get to the main event of WrestleMania, where Batista actually fought Triple H that year. So yeah, Royal Rumble 2005 is at my number five spot. At my number four spot, it's actually a super recent one, and I just actually watched this recently. Again, it's Royal Rumble 2020. This was fantastic. I mean, what they did in the first half of the match with Brock Lesnar was fantastic. When you think about it on paper, you say, uh, is that really a good idea? But the execution of it was fantastic. This is definitely all Paul Heyman, all Brock Lesnar who came up with this idea. Then when Drew McIntyre actually eliminated him, and there was actually a lot of talk that Roman Reigns was going to win this Royal Rumble, but at the last minute they went with Drew McIntyre, which was the right decision to actually go with Drew McIntyre because it really catapulted him. And for Roman Reigns to win it again, I mean, they push Roman Reigns so much even to this day, he doesn't need to win the Royal Rumble. But them putting the title, I mean, but them giving this Royal Rumble to Drew McIntyre and him going on to WrestleMania. Now, the pandemic did stop his momentum, even though he had that lengthy title reign, well, two title reigns. But the pandemic did stop his momentum, but they did do the right thing on this night, having Drew McIntyre actually win the Royal Rumble and him finally ascend to that next level. And he went on to face actually Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. And actually moving on to my number three spot. Actually, I actually have the 2008 Royal Rumble. Now, this match was fantastic all the way. I mean, you kicked it off with Unticker and Shawn Michaels inside the beginning. You kicked it off with that. That was fantastic. Then you actually moved on and actually did... You had CM Punk inside this match, Trip Way inside this match, Batista, Shawn Michaels, and Undertaker last set before. So you had a lot of people who were contenders to actually win. And there was a lot of talk about Triple H. There's actually a rumor that CM Punk was supposed to win. I don't know if that's actually true, but there's a lot of stuff about Triple H because nobody thought that John Cena was going to come back. This was actually John Cena's return match, but nobody thought he was going to come back because he was supposed to be out for like eight months. So people, the clear cut was basically Triple H. I mean, you could have went with Undertaker or something, but he just had one the, the last year, but you could have went back to back. Shawn Michaels really wasn't being in the championship picture. So the only two people you can go with besides Cena was Triple H or Undertaker. And they didn't want to do the back-to-back. -back, so they actually went with John Cena. That was one of the greatest. It's probably, it's probably maybe the greatest return of all time. Definitely the greatest return inside the Royal Rumble. The way the crowd reacted. Just that comeback. Come, coming back super fast from the injury. Everything about it was absolutely fantastic. He went on to uh, cash it in at No Way Out, which still doesn't make no sense to me. They did this to set up the triple threat match. At WrestleMania, that's the only reason why they did it. But I just thought that was it's kind of stupid. But there's a triple threat match for WrestleMania. John Cena, Triple H, and Randy Orton. And actually, my number two spot. And this was actually tough. Number one and number two was tough. It was really, really tough. But at number two, I'm actually going to go with the 2007 Royal Rumble. And this, what makes this Royal Rumble takes it over top. I mean, there's some cool spots in between. Is the ending. That's what take that thing. This is the greatest Royal Rumble ending of all time. That's what really takes it over the top. The Undertaker Shawn Michaels thing at the end, which I believe still stands as the longest time where uh, the last two men actually stood. They went for like 10 minutes and they just put on an absolute classic of a match. People still talk about that to this day. It's the greatest Royal Rumble ending of all time. There's none that even come close as an ending of them fighting back and forth. Of course, Undertaker actually picked up the victory 
threw Shawn Michaels out, but they both bloody beating up. Radio RKO was in. That was the final four. Radio RKO, Undertaker, and Shawn Michaels. And this definitely set up. It was like they were building blocks for that WrestleMania match at 25. Because they did this in 07, did that in 08, then in 09, they finally fought at WrestleMania. And my number one spot, I got to go with Rory Rumble 2006. I mean, kicking off with Triple H and Rey Mysterio, I love Triple H. And having Randy Orton come out number 30, having Triple H and Randy Orton beat up on Rey Mysterio and stuff like that. And just the performance by Rey Mysterio. I know they, have, they did it plenty of times before that. But just the way that they did it this time, I thought it was the best that they ever had did it. Just to me personally, with Rey Mysterio actually coming on top. And him winning the Royal Rumble, dedicating to Eddie Guerrero, I thought that was absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, I absolutely love this match. This is my favorite Royal Rumble of all time. I go back and watch it all the time. I go back and watch that ending all the time with Triple H actually being eliminated. And then Randy Orton picking it up. Uh, Rey Mysterio, Rey Mysterio, her around him out the ring. I mean, it's just so great. It's so fantastic. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love that match. And I think that this was the right decision because they were going to go with Triple H at first to challenge uh, John Cena. Then they were going to go with Randy Orton to challenge Batista. But then once Batista got injured, they had to reshuffle. Once Batista got injured and Eddie Guerrero actually had passed away, they had to reshuffle the whole entire WrestleMania card to actually switch it up. That's why they actually went with Rey Mysterio because of the injury and because of the passing away of Eddie Guerrero. But 2006 is my number one favorite Royal Rumble match. But tell me your thoughts, tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. What are your top five favorite Royal Rumble matches of all time? Those are my top five favorite Royal Rumble matches of all time. But comment section below, what's your favorite? Yeah. But like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.